All right, welcome back. So uh, you already saw, hopefully, the bell mallet video, the xylophone mallet video. So today's gonna be all yarn mallets. Um, so I'm just gonna dive right into it. Uh, I hope you're enjoying these videos. Um, I don't have that many yarn mallets that I bring to gigs. They're all in uh, sets of four. Um, I use these green Balter 22Rs. These are a great mallet for vibraphone or a hard marimba mallet. Um, these are, you know, they're, they're really, they're really basic. They're really um, universal. You can use these on almost everything. It's, it is, it is a harder mallet, so um, not something you want to use necessarily on the low end of a marimba, but it works great on everything else. All right, the next ones are the Mike Balter 23R. So these I recommend to everybody. These are a great vibraphone slash marimba mallet. Um, yeah, it just has the right the right core, the right wrapping for, for pretty much anything you wanna do. Um, and these are my go-tos. You can kinda see how worn out they are. I've seen people with way more worn out than these. I've had these for years, but um, yeah, these are my go-tos. So if I were to recommend one mallet, it would be this for sure. And then the last, uh, the last mallet are, they are vibraphone mallets. They're the Vic Firth Gary Burton M22. Um, they are vibraphone mallets, but pretty much everyone I know uses them on marimba. They're a great marimba mallet. And uh, these would be another recommendation. You know, if you're a, if you're a young student, you're trying to buy one pair of, of mallets, I would either go with uh, these Mike Balters or these uh, these Vic Firth ones. They're just they're great, and they they work for pretty much everything. Um, no band director would be mad, uh, or orchestra director would be mad about you using these on on every instrument. Um, you can even use you can even use these green mallets on xylophone. Um, you know you're not going to hurt any instrument using these. If you were to hit you know the marimba or vibraphone or anything with a harder mallet, yeah, you might get in trouble. But I don't think you're getting in trouble with these. And the last mallet, yarn mallet at least, that I have, um, I always keep them in this bag. They're becoming harder and harder to find. They're the Musser, uh, what is the model? M208. So these are the Musser M208s. These are uh, mallets that I just use for suspended cymbal. So if I ever have to do suspended cymbal and I have enough time to switch mallets or do whatever I'm doing, I only use these on suspended cymbal. They sound great. It's a nice, nice rattan. It has a really good bend. Um, it's really flat on the side. So when you're hitting a cymbal, you know, you get a lot of mallet to cymbal and they're just fantastic. These were recommended to me by, you know, at least five people before I got them. And then I finally got them and uh, could totally see what everyone was talking about. So. If you're if you're able to and you want to just get a good suspended cymbal mallet, get these. They're the Musser M208. So, uh, in my bag of all the mallets, you know these are all the marimba mallets, yarn mallets, suspended cymbal, vibraphone. This is all I have. This probably takes up the most room besides drumsticks, um, just because there's so many of them. But always buy mallets in pairs of, or not in pairs, in groups of four. So get two mallets, especially for marimba and vibraphone. Um, xylophone, you know, maybe one or two, like in my last video, I had a few that I had, uh, I had four, but definitely always buy four for, uh, for marimba and vibraphone because you'll need those way more often. Um, and yeah, so there you go. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. The next one is uh, snare drum and just miscellaneous other, uh, other sticks and sounds and other things. So. See you then.